Hi. <laughs> Congratulations on the podium at the games. Thank you. It was really nice. I didn't do much fitness in August. Started like started back training probably in September, but took it easy and then really trained like October. No, I was back home in Europe and we like traveled around with my family a little bit, did some vacation. I went to Virginia in the beginning of October, so like then when I started training. At the beginning, of course, I felt like I had some time off, but now I feel like pretty good about training. How do you feel about a long bus ride to start it off? Does it yeah, matter? It's not the best, but I just drove from Dallas to here, which is, was like three hours, so I think it's fine. I like all of them. I think there's gonna be 10. It's a lot of workouts, not like they're trying to kill us, but it's a lot of volume compared to like last year where we had like, I think six events, but I like them all. I like the back squat and box jump over. That's gonna like mess some people up because that's like heavy for girls to 227, I think, to squat. Yeah, it was this beef briefing was useless. Like they could have emailed us, meet us at the lobby at 645. Yeah. <laughs> and bring some shoes if you wanna. Congrats, you killed that first event. Thank you. It's funny, we all got briefed, what, yesterday? And they told us we had to be there, like, we had to wake up essentially at 6 a.m. And we were all pretty bummed about that because we thought we were gonna be, like, big sleeping in. They say it's gonna take an hour or two to get to wherever we're going. I think it took about two hours. To finally get out, we see some hay bales, some sandbags. We're like, okay, we're definitely, like, running. They literally just briefed it, and they were like, all right, uh, like, about a half hour. It was, so, it was crazy how many like got us on buses and then they put us on quads and then we went down this like long hill that we were like oh we have to run up this yeah and then like we started and then mass start and they were like all right yeah guys and girls went all together right yeah yeah it was like the first mile or so was with the go ruck it was like annie was up there lawson laura gabby and then myself and so i was kind of running behind laura for a lot of the ruck run until the last little bit portion of it, I just like felt kind of good. So I was like, well, I'm gonna like keep this rhythm and pace going. Um, and kind of past Laura, past Annie, coming down the last little bit, it's like all hill. And then it's like a flat sprint. And I really just turned around to see if I like had to sprint. And yeah. I like didn't. Nobody was near you. No. During it, I was like, this is wrong. I was like, why am I leading right now? But then I was like, I was like, I don't know. I'm not bad at trail runs. Um, but also the whole time I was just like, don't settle, don't settle. Like, I don't want to get, like, I love this feeling of leading right now. And like, if I start to like slow down and settle where like, you know, they're pushing to catch me. Yeah. Um, and I just like kept it up and like, it was, it was fun the whole time. It was never like really miserable, which was good. Oh yeah. Ruck is just fucking heavy, yeah. but the ruck didn't feel as bad as it, as I thought it would. Yeah. But I think just because in my training, we've been focusing on getting stronger. Mm -hmm. So I think just like. Literally, I'm like, it feels light to hold the ruck. What's the cookie selection? Dude, we smashed most of them. Okay, Snickerdoodle was the mystery. m and solid, Tootsie Roll, Butterfinger. Crumble versus the cookies we had in New York. New York garbage. <laughs>I felt like here I got some like ribs, but it was more wrist than anything else. Yeah. yeah, like the Russian, the Roman did it before me and he was like, I eat Russell bikes for breakfast. So I just like, okay, I eat them for dinner then. <laughs> so I just like, 
pick the moderately hard case on the bike and just did the barbell unbroken. Sweet, great yeah. job. Happy about uh, the first the first workout for sure. It went exactly how we wanted to go. Game plan is what could we do on the back, <laughs> and, and it was gonna it was gonna show us what we're gonna do on the front. But what's really cool about it is <clears throat> she hasn't lifted that weight in a long time. Um, and our goal coming in wasn't to get her strong for this. Our goal coming in was just to make sure she was healthy coming into this one. Uh, so we discovered a new baseline. She hit that 275, and so now we know where we're starting from going on for the rest of the year. I love this one. Yeah, I love this one. Anyone where it's um, where it creates a lot of pressure for athletes and they need they need to do things um, reacting, I think is really good for her and it's it's what sets her apart. You know, she's good at legless. Uh, you know, that weight on the overhead is not anything to her. And then that bag, I actually I like this one for her more so than last year's with the with the doubles and the snatches. Log is just so uncomfortable to like lift it, especially when it's like really heavy to roll it on your shoulders and like overhead. So it was basically for I missed the jerk when I missed the lift, and it was more like I didn't go deep enough, like underneath the li the log. So I like was an extended overhead, and I like caught it like here, so I couldn't. It was so heavy I couldn't press it up. So yeah, it was just the split jerk part. Okay, how's the uh, hotel coffee treating you? It's really good, really good. I've been <laughs> I've been drinking that every morning. <laughs> Oh, it's is terrible. It, it, has it gotten any better <laughs> no. now that we've gone further south? No, it's still it's still not great. Yeah, it's nothing compared to like Amer uh, European coffee. American coffee is just trash. It's just like hot brown water, basically. You got your brother here. Yeah, my hipster brother. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Until your good is better and your better is your best. What he said. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the hill? It's awesome. It's cool that they brought it back this year again. They had it last year too. It's cool. It's it's very steeper than it looks. Like when you look at it from like, especially from the stand, so it just like looks like a little ramp. But then when you're actually going up, it's like pretty steep. Yeah. Oh, can you, we got married on Sunday. This is our honeymoon. Oh, yes. Can you set our bed? Can you set the both of us? Yes, of course. Oh my God. <laughs> like, no joke. She is our absolute like hugest favorite. Like. <laughs> I think the big takeaway is this, we wanted her body to be healthy coming off the CrossFit Games uh, and leave, leave this competition in the same way that she came in healthy. And uh, that's exactly what happened. Naturally, we're going to be bummed out with some of the results that we saw, but there's so many good takeaways to get her better. We fight the battles. Naturally, for her right now, uh, is to build strength, uh, but do it the right way. So there's no injuries that come from it. Mento was really positive for where she was at coming into it. I think she. Uh, Got more practice learning to trust her coach and her team, uh, and she also got better at bouncing back from uh, like tough judging calls. Coming out of this healthy is the number one thing to focus in on what really matters, which is the CrossFit Games. That was really fun. I was happy when they announced it. Did like a steady pace. I wasn't pushing super hard. <sighs> One more time, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your 2022 World Invitational Women's Champion, Laura Hova! Good job. I was the only one who had to pee. No one, is, no one has to pee. Everyone is just like struggling. 
I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> Favorite part of the weekend, one. Uh, Laura winning. All right. Like all the events. That's simple, <laughs> yeah. Um, she's just been getting better. Like every time she'll she'll go home and every time she comes back, she's just she's just better. Like she's just getting better consistently year after year. So uh, it's been really cool to see her progress. We're always working on it's like the same stuff that I was always working on. Always working on our weaknesses. Um, just training together, kind of like a little bit like training partners. But she's the one competing. So uh, no, I'm just helping her in any way that I possibly can. So.